Well guys, welcome to uh, part 4 of Resident Evil 3 uh, Let's Play slash walkthrough slash I'm going to play because I want to. Um, now, episode 3 was quite short, well, shorter than the other episodes because my recording device, which is my iPhone, ran out of memory halfway through and that was quite irritating <clears throat> because it just, it just stopped halfway through. But yeah, uh, obviously I paused it straight after that happened, so you haven't missed anything. Right, um, if your inventory is full like mine, uh, um, yeah, if your inventory is full like mine, you have to come back this way anyway. So, um, so for the time being, just finish off those two dogs and head around here where there is some potted blue herbs, which are basically blue herbs that uh, will stay there forever. So if you're poisoned, you can just use, you can reuse them as many times as you want. <clears throat> anyway, another save room, which is good. More ammo, which is even better. And then, uh, oh, there's an ink ribbon here, but obviously. Right, so I don't think you need the lock pick. I'm not going to take the first aid spray with me either. But I am running quite low on healing items. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to... I'm just going to head out now. Um... and get those all important items if you head over to this car here that's sparking like that and get the power cable and then from here I'm going to head back out of the parking lot I'm going to go to the corpse where I told you about the gunpowder and I'm going to go back and get a few herbs as well Obviously, if you guys are doing better for healing items than I am, you don't need to you don't need to worry about doing this. Sorry if you're doing better for ammo, but in my opinion, you can never have enough ammo or healing items. So, <clears throat> yeah, head back this way. Um, back to the gate. Um, just for the record, I'm pretty sure blue herbs, um, no, first aid sprays cover poisoning as well, so, uh, you, you know, you don't, you don't need to worry about that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, God. <coughs> Death is not fun. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, it's probably, probably something irrelevant if I forgot what it was. It's not that interesting. Right, so back through here. Right, and from this save room, you can save it if you want to. I think I'm going to because the last time I saved it was the dark room in the police station, you know, before Nemesis jumped out. So I can't be asked to do all that again, even if I don't have to record it. It's just it's just long and it takes a piss. Um, so I'm going to get that out, put that away. I can put that away as well. Another, another seven shotgun shells. Um, which we can add to the ten I've already got. There we go. Take the ink ribbons as well. And quickly save the game. Wow, five minutes in and we haven't even gone anywhere. 
Great. Well, that's the third save of the game. I, oh, God. I don't know, like, uh, it's just, uh, some people can actually do it in way less than, you know, if, I've seen people do it in just one save, which is ideal if you want a good ending. You can just save it at the, um, the, cl uh, the clock tower, which is, I'd say, the halfway point of the game. And then, uh, yeah. But after this, uh, the, uh, I might do a Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. I haven't, I haven't really decided yet. Oh, shit, you know, what the fuck. It's off. Fucking zombie dogs. Ah, maybe not. Pretty sure that door falls off or something a bit later. Anyway, <clears throat> on to here where we're about to meet uh, a new enemy. What one that has the ability to poison you? There's a, a downtown map here on the side. Take if you need it. Um, I'd say it, it does help, and there's a board. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the prick? Check this guy for gunpowder. Okay, might only have one. Shit. Uh, we will be coming back to this room later. That's why I thought it was best to take out the the Crawley and its force thing. Oh, someone's not happy. Great, more zombies. Doom, 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 doom. Oh shit. Oh, you fucking piece of crap. Move, 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 move. Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, so if you're watching that, don't try and dodge the zombies in the shopping district because there is just quite simply too many of them. Fucking hell. That's better. Right, and now I've healed up because I've got the healing arms to do so. But I just remembered you, you need the lock pick for the next bit, so yeah. Anyway, more shotgun shells in the bag. And take the rusted crank as well, but you do not, you, you don't. What, what the fuck has gone on there? Uh, <clears throat> you, you don't you don't need the rusted crank at the moment, uh, so you can put that away, and you can take reloading tool out. Bam! And you see, uh, as you get more experience making, you can make slightly more bullets each time, which is quite a cool little sort of add-on. Anyway, um, this part I know we haven't accomplished much. But that's that's simply because obviously um, we had to go back to the save room, then go back to get the key items. So that's why we haven't accomplished much. Make sure you get the lock pick from here. Another healing item would be nice. Um, and I'll join you guys in part uh, five, I think. Yeah, part five. All right, see you later.